Good morning. Hey, this is your Monday tip here uh, for you guys and gals. Um, employment history. A lot of times people feel that they have to have a full two years employment history. That's not correct. It depends on the file. It depends on the situation. Um, if somebody is, um, let's say, working somewhere else and all of a sudden they they have some time off in between jobs for some one reason or the other, a lot of times we can explain that if we can and then the underwriter will take that. Um, a lot of times on conventional and sometimes FHA, it might only be six months. So let me explain the detail behind the employment history. Now, if you're not doing anything for two years, then yeah, then that's that's a problem, you know, before you buy. But if you start, let's say you went to school and you started, one second here, went to school and then basically came out of school into a job, that's good, that's employment history. We can show that, okay, which is pretty cool. Um, but even if somebody has been off and had a break or whatever, if we can explain it, there's a good chance that we can, you know, help them get a mortgage. Uh, sometimes not, but there's a lot of times. I have, I've had two files the last few weeks here, very similar situations with employment. And my underwriter, since we have a good relationship with the underwriter, uh, said, yeah, Greg, bring it in. It's fine. And that's the cool part about it. This is a side note right now, too. Having your own underwriter. Um, man, I run everything past her up front, so we avoid any uh, bombshells coming down the line here. So hopefully this tip helps you. Let me know if you get any questions. Dig up some deals that you think that got turned down by somebody else, so let me take a look at them. Have a great Monday. Talk to you soon.